What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwid, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 upgraded budget series episode. And guys, today we are talking about the cornerback position, one of my favorite positions in Madden Ultimate Team this year. And actually the one, if you guys saw my video a few months ago where I actually broke down why I believe cornerback is the most important position in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Now today, guys, we are going to be looking at a little bit of an upgrade from the previous Budget Squad series that we did, where we went over kind of some of the cheaper cards that still play pretty well for you, but, you know, they're only going for like 5,000 or so coins. Today, guys, the budget's a little bit higher. We are going to be talking about cards that are somewhere between about 7,500 to about 15,000 coins. Uh, so still in the budget range, I would say, but definitely cards that are upgraded from the previous episode that we did a few months back. So with that being said, I don't want to waste any more time. I want to hop right into the information. So let's take a look at the first card that we're going to be reviewing today, and that is cornerback Bradley Roby, the Denver Broncos. And this is the path to the draft card that came out around draft time, and he is actually an absolute beast. <laughs> um, this card's going for about 15,000 coins right now, and I really, really like it. Uh, Bradley Roby has some of the nicest attributes of any of the rookie cornerbacks in this game, and he is going for more than some of the other ones, but there's reasons for it. Number one, his speed at 96 is very, very high. And before I get into any of the other attributes, I want to make sure, of course, that I cover the attributes that we're going to be going over today and explain kind of why we go over each of these individual attributes and, and how important they are and things like that. So obviously number one is speed, like I said already. Number two is strength, and the reason that we care about strength is because we don't want our cornerbacks getting pancake blocked. Number three, catching, because we'd like them to get interceptions, of course. Hit power is also an important one. Block shedding is one that will help be helpful for getting off of the blocks. Uh, not necessarily quite so much about the pancakes, but a little bit more for if they're just standing up and, and uh, engaging you uh, as a wide receiver or a tight end or things like that. Then we've of course got the probably the most important attributes which are man coverage and zone coverage and those are just the, how the computer reacts in coverage along with press and I think press is one that kind of gets underrated by some people. If you press your cornerbacks at all to try and bump the opposing team's offensive receivers and uh, throw off their timing, that is a very important attribute. The higher that is, the better. Play recognition is the last one and then we also do of course include their height and their cost on the far right hand side there in the bottom right hand corner. So as you can see here there are different colors as well. If you, this is the first time that you viewed one of my budget series episodes you're probably wondering what that means. Well green is basically a good attribute or a very good attribute I should say for that individual position. So as you can see here 96 speed is very good uh, for the cornerback position whereas for example, his block shedding here at 60 is not great, but it's not terrible, at, and that shows up as yellow. And then red means that he is not very good, at least for that position. So in this case, 88 press coverage, not very good. It would be good, of course, if he was playing another position. Pretty much any other position is going to get a green if they have press at 88. But for cornerback, that's not too impressive, so it does show up as red. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a horrendous attribute, but it doesn't it isn't very good, is basically what that means. It's not it's not good at all. So with that being said, let's go and take a look at the Bradley Roby card itself. Like I already said, 96 speed is very good. It does have decent strength here at 69, uh, and actually that's pretty high for a cornerback. You're not going to see a whole lot of cornerbacks that have higher than that. The other thing that I found interesting about this card is that it does have 83 hit power, and that's kind of an attribute that normally you would only find at the safety position or, of course, at, like, linebacker. Um, you're not going to see a whole lot of cornerbacks, even the ones that are more established in the NFL. Some of even the guys that you would consider to be decently big hitters at the cornerback position don't even have 83 hit power. So that's very, very high for a corner. It's actually exceptionally high. There aren't many at all that are higher than that. Then, of course, it does have very high man coverage and zone coverage, which are the attributes that you really need to have to have a good cornerback. 
So those, in my opinion, are number one and number two. Everything else comes after that, other than maybe speed, of course. I, I love my speed if you guys watch any of my games. But uh, so overall, this cart is very, very nice. It has a lot of green attributes, yellow in height and block shedding. Uh, you know, 5'11 isn't bad. Uh, it's right on the verge of being green. If he was six foot tall, he would be a green attribute. But, you know, 5'11 is decent enough. And then the 60 block shed isn't too bad. It, it's not terrible, but it's not exceptional. Catching. This is one that I, I kind of found as I was going through this here that there aren't a lot of budget cards that have great catching. And I don't know exactly why that is. Uh, I guess it's possible that that's an attribute that they kind of used to help boost the really, really great cards. So you're going to see all pretty much all of your ultimate legend cards and your golden tickets and your really high like the team mvp cards and like the cover boat sherman and things like that all those like 99 overall cornerbacks that they've made those are all going to have very very high catch attributes which basically means that the other cards are not going to be green and a lot of cases they're not even going to be red or they're not even going to be yellow excuse me they're going to be red in that attribute don't really worry too much about it because, like I said, you're really not going to find many other cornerbacks anywhere near this price range that have a, anything other than a red for catching. So try not to worry too much about it because, you know, there's just not much you can do if this is all that you can afford. Then, of course, you do need to take a look at press. As I mentioned, I think that that is one of the most underrated attributes. Now, your strength does come a little bit into play, as I understand it. Um, I don't know exactly what the, the formula is or anything like that, but from what I understand, press does play a little bit of a factor, um, or strength does play a little bit of a factor with press, as I understand it. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind as well, because he does have that green attribute in strength, so that could help him a little bit with his press press but his play recognition being an 84 that is not very good but of course it's something that you would expect as this is a rookie card so a lot of times your play recognition your awareness and things like that are not going to be very high on these cards so overall though i do think this is a very good card uh 94 overall it, it plays better than 94 overall i would say that and for 15,000 coins i think that this is pretty much the best card that you're going to find at the cornerback position at that price range i don't really think there's anything that really compares to it so moving on to our next card and this one is one that has been in the game for quite a bit longer uh, this is actually Playoff Vontae Davis. Now, Vontae Davis, of course, is kind of known as one of the better press corners in the NFL. And as you're going to see here with his attributes, that's actually found on the card. He does have a 95 press. He also is very, very good in man coverage at 96. But he kind of struggles in some of these other areas like catch, of course, like we already mentioned. Hit power is 67. That is not a good attribute for a cornerback even. That, that really is not going to force a lot of incompletions. And his block shedding at 55 is very, very low. So this card is not one that is great in run support. Uh, it does have 73 strength, however, which, again, goes into, I think, a little bit with the press coverage. So that, that would give him even better press. And it also will prevent him from getting pancake blocked. So, you know, all things considered... It is a decent overall cornerback. It does have 95 speed as well, which is nice. Um, it, it's one away, again, from being a green attribute. If it was 96, it would be a green attribute. But because it's only a 95, it does fall into that yellow uh, gray area, I guess. So that's kind of, you know, it, it's kind of its downfall a little bit there at 95 speed when it tries to go up against some of these better corner or these better wide receivers. However, because he has such nice press... He is able to bump some of those higher receivers at the line of scrimmage, and that really throws off their speed. So that's one thing that I do like about this Vontae Davis card, and it's another reason that I think this is one of the best cornerbacks as far as value goes, because it is only 14,000 coins. So overall, very, very nice corner, just like the Bradley Roby card. It has some downfalls, of course, but it is a pretty darn good card for being in the game this long. Uh, it holds up very well to some of these other cards that are much more expensive. And overall, it does a pretty darn good job in coverage. It's definitely one that I would say I would be comfortable with using it on my team if I had to, if I was building my own budget squad. So definitely look into this one. If you've got 14,000 coins and you're looking for a great press cornerback, this might be the card for you. 
Moving on now to our next card, and this one is going to be one that I probably embarrass myself on because I didn't really watch a whole lot of college football over the past couple of seasons due to my schedule. Um, okay, Darquez Denard, I think is how you pronounce his name. If that's not correct, please don't annihilate me in the comment section below. Please be nice. The point is that this is a good Madden card, and it really is. It has pretty much everything you'd look for. Excellent, excellent hit power. It has 85 hit power. That is extraordinarily rare at the cornerback position. Of course, there are going to be a few, the Golden Tickets and some of the Ultimate Legends and things like that, that have higher hit power. But for your average cornerbacks, you are not going to find many cornerbacks that have higher than 85 hit power. This thing can cause fumbles on running backs. So I really do like that. That is a nice aspect of this card that I think gets a little bit overlooked. It does also have great man coverage and zone coverage. 96 and 94 is nothing to, to overlook. It is a very good card in coverage. It does also have 93 press. So it bumps the guys at the line of scrimmage. It will throw off their routes. It'll throw off the timing of your opposition. And that actually kind of helps make up for the fact that this card only has 94 speed. Because 94 speed is typically considered a little bit slow, I think, at this point in Madden. Because most people are running fast receivers. They're running like the Randy Moss cards or they're running the Calvin Johnsons or uh, Deshaun Jackson final edition or the free agency card, excuse me. And you know, these cards are super, super fast, but they don't really do that great against press corners because they're kind of weaker receivers other than Calvin, of course, which is just a monster no matter what. But the point is, this card here will beast them at the line of scrimmage, and then it will stick with them because it has such nice man coverage and zone coverage. The biggest area that I think this card struggles in is the play recognition, and that, of course, you'd expect it. Again, uh, same card, same thing as the Bradley Roby card. It's a rookie. You know, he's not going to have high play recognition. It's basically the one category where I think that it does struggle a little bit, and you'd expect it to. So, other than that though, 5 foot 11, it's only going for 12,000 coins, which makes it a really nice value, and I think overall this is a pretty good cornerback card. If you combine it with some of these other ones, you'd have a pretty nice duo for pretty cheap. And it is my opinion that this is the best value cornerback of all of them that we're going to be looking at today. However, there are still a couple other cards that I want to show you guys today that are even a little bit cheaper. Next on the list is Final Edition Logan Ryan. And this card is basically a slightly downgraded version, in my, in my opinion, of the Dark Haze Denard card. It's pretty much the same in most of the attributes. Other than that, it does have a little bit better play recognition, but it's not quite as high in things like hit power and strength. But overall, it's pretty darn similar. These cards are going to play very, very similarly. They're both 5'11", so, you know, again, very, very similar to the Darquise Denard card. Almost all the attributes are within a couple of points one way or another, so if you can't find one for whatever reason and you find the other one, go ahead and purchase it. Like I said, they're pretty much the same card overall. Uh, I think the Denard card is slightly better, so if you can afford that for the extra 2,000 coins, go that far but if you can't or if you don't like running dupes and you want to run a couple of cards that are similar like this this card is actually pretty solid as well logan ryan decent and then the also nice thing about this one is that if you end up having to or if you end up having the opportunity to i should say upgrade the cornerback position and find somebody better if you get come across a golden ticket or a uh, an ultimate legend corner or something like that down the road before this game comes to an end you can take this card and put it into the final edition collection which is always a nice little bonus so again i like this logan ryan card just not quite as much as the previous one next on the list we do have another rookie card and that of course is kyle fuller chicago bears cornerback he is 95 overall and i've been seeing this card everywhere and the more I looked at it, the more I realized that the reason for that is because this card actually adds plus two to zone coverage for your entire defense. So although its attribute says that it's a 93, it's actually a 95 in zone coverage and it boosts up everybody else on your defense to plus two for zone coverage. So that works for not only your safeties and your cornerbacks, but also your linebackers, which I really like that attribute. I think that that makes sense as to why so many people are using this Kyle Fuller card. 
even though in my opinion it's not as good as the other cornerback cards that we've looked at today it does only have 94 speed it's 78 catching is kind of meh but at the same time it is the first card that we've looked at today that actually has a yellow attribute in catching so you know if that's something that you really think is hugely important for you that you have a 78 catch as opposed to a 75 catch hey Kyle Fuller might be the card for you but in my opinion the 92 press isn't that spectacular uh, his 85 play recognition is actually pretty darn low and then that 53 block shed and 67 hit power makes him pretty mediocre as a run supporter so I don't overall love this card however it does play pretty well in coverage it does have 96 man coverage and like I said 95 zone coverage so overall it is an excellent card in pure coverage and that of course is really what you look for in your cornerbacks for the most part so that's pretty much uh, a pretty darn good card here 94 speed is again uh, unfortunately not spectacular if he was bumped up a couple he would be a green so it's not a horrible attribute but because he only has the 92 press and the 94 speed there are times where he's going to get beat deep and that of course is a major concern if you're somebody like me who kind of relies on your cornerbacks to be out there on an island from time to time and make plays on their own I'm not really sure that Kyle Fuller has the the capabilities to do that like some of the other cards that we've looked at but like I said that plus two zone coverage makes him very very enticing for people and I can see why now the last card that we are gonna look at today is free agent Brandon Browner who is now a member of the New England Patriots former member of the Seattle Seahawks and you're seeing a lot of green on here yeah, you're seeing a couple attributes that are red that might be a little bit concerning to you, but I'm here to tell you, for 7,000 coins, this thing is a monster. 94 speed is the same as some of the other cards that we've seen, so it's not going to be just terrible. It does only have the 92 press, so again, it does have a little bit of a situation where it can get beat from time to time deep. However, it makes up for it in some of these other attributes. The big one that it makes up for it in is that it is six foot four. Brandon Browner is a giant for the cornerback position. He will absolutely go up and intercept passes, swat away passes against the biggest receivers in the game. You name them. Ultimate legend Randy Moss, if he's in a jump ball situation against Brandon Browner, is not just going to completely destroy him. That is something that you cannot put a price tag on, seriously, because there are people who will just huck the ball up, they see single coverage, and they just assume it's going to be a touchdown. Randy Moss is going to destroy him. Not necessarily. Brandon Browner is the kind of cornerback that can keep up with Randy Moss. And with, with only 7,000 coins, it is not a, a high enough amount where you should even be worried about some of these other attributes. Yeah, it only has 91 man coverage. Yes. That is low for a cornerback, obviously. But it does have 95 zone coverage. So if you're somebody that plays a lot of zone coverage, this is a nice card. It's not completely horrible in man coverage either. So I'm not, I, I unfortunately, I, I wish that this card had a little bit better man coverage. I wish it was even just a 93. But the fact that it's a 91 does, it does make it a little bit discouraging. But man, it just makes up for it in those other categories so much. 75 hit power, like I said before, uh, it's, a high attribute it will force incompletions 72 strength means of course that it's not going to get pancake blocked as often as other cornerbacks overall like i said for 7,000 coins if you're on a tight budget this is the card i'm telling you this card will beat up opposing receivers throughout the course of a game and people will get really really pissed off it has 79 catching as well which is pretty good it's the best of all the cornerbacks that we've looked at today. So, you know, for all, all intents and purposes, considering the budget, that's a pretty good attribute. So with that being said, guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode of the budget series for cornerbacks. I know, again, we went pretty long today, but I wanted to get in plenty of information about these cornerbacks because, like I said before, in my opinion, cornerback is the most important position in Madden. So that is going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press that like button below. And don't forget to look in the, in the description of the video below because we actually are going to have links to the other Upgraded Budget Series episodes that I've done so far. We've done uh, receivers and we've done... Um, 
defensive line we've done offensive line so there's a whole bunch of different ones that you guys can see down there and also I want to leave I want you guys to leave a comment below and let me know what position you guys want to see next for the next upgraded budget series episode I'm interested to hear it let me know if you guys like today's episode as well in the comment section don't forget to share it things like that it's always helpful for other people I know people have been asking me for the cornerback upgraded budget series so here you guys go hope you enjoyed it Thank you again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.